Mr. Raul Alba. I'm going to talk to you uh, about uh, Dalet's approach to studio operations. And following up on everything that uh, Thomas has been telling, um, studio operations are the last stage of uh, a very important workflow, news, and everything that happens behind that. And everybody in the industry is facing a lot of challenges to, to come up to this. So first, everybody is facing the challenge of having to do more, more than ever. Your production has to be more attractive, has to be more complex, has to be more sophisticated than ever before. But also, everybody wants this production to be cheaper and to be more efficient and to be uh, having, uh, having less operational cost. So you have to do it, everything you're doing, you have to do it cheaper. We need to incre increase reliability. Everybody knows that if you make a mistake today, it's not like 10 or 15 years ago. If you make a mistake on Earth today, you play the wrong video, you play, you play the wrong graphics, you will be around in social media for years. Everybody will make fun of you, and everybody will remember that. So we have to be very reliable on, on what we're doing. And the whole production has to be very flexible. The days where we have a studio dedicated to something are gone. Everybody has to be able to adapt to the changing needs on the production. So to uh, address these, um, these challenges, uh, Dalit's approach to production is uh, bringing a multi-platform delivery. It's, it's bringing a solution which is IP enabled, so it's ready for the future of production distribution. It's flexible, scalable, and cost-effective, and it's natively integrated into the Galaxy uh, workflow, which is giving us a lot of advantages. One of the first uh, um, components of this approach to studio production is studio automation. This is a component that Dalet didn't have up until now, or have very reduced. And we're going to approach this in two stages. There's an extension of the owner component that was already existing, we're calling Owner Plus. And this is available today. And this is extend in a way so we can do more than the owner can do up, to, up until today. And there will be an, a, a second stage it's called OnePlay, a new product we are previewing in NAB, but will only be sellable at IBC. And this is a completely new product. It's, be, it's built on known technology, on existing technology, but it's a completely new product with many new features. So just a few words of what each one of these uh, two products are. The first one, the Honor Plus, is coming with a story player, which will allow you to play time events in a story all together automatically. It's controlling new device types. So on top of the classic graphics, video, uh, we can also control cameras, audio devices, mix mixers, mixer mixer, routers. And the third one, and it's also very important, is the VPN integration. We're going to be able to play any VPN workflow synchronized with the studio operation. The most obvious uh, solution for that, application for that, is the ability to play social media publishing at the same time you're playing something in the studio. So what's the second, the second product? One, one play is a completely new user interface. It's web-based. It's a redesigned user experience. It allows us to see all the content of the story in a timeline fashion. And it's addressing very well workflows that require both automated playouts and manual playouts, which we something happened very often in the studio operation. I just wanted to show a short video that is uh, showing how it looks like, and it's showing this specific use case of the automated and manual playout. So this is a story playing automatically. All the media, all the events are playing automatically, but the user can decide when some events are going to be played. So this is just one example of how this mix, uh, manual and automated workflows are working in, in one play. You want to see more, you can you can see that in the, in the pod number two in Dalet booth, and this is going to be previewed there. The next uh, pillar of studio uh, operations are the graphics. And uh, Dalet Galaxy has a very good integration with graphic workflows with a number of vendors, a number of partners. And the workflow that is achievable with all of them is uh, very similar. It's based on the same steps. There's exposing the graphic templates. It's filling this data, manual, automated. There's a preview of these graphics. 
you can add this graphic to uh, editing application, to uh, OneCAD, or to Adobe Premiere. And then you can either play it out, or you can distribute it in different uh, outlets. And this uh, uh, workflow is valid for a number of partners, and also for our own uh, graphic solution, which is called Dalek Cube. So Dalek Cube is uh, focused, focused on, on news production. That's what it does best. It's natively integrated in Galaxy, which is allowing us to do much more um, and easier and deeper integration, deeper, work, uh, more complex workflows than with any third party um, uh, system. And we are able to address multi platform distribution workflows in a very sophisticated way because of this integration with BPM. And this is a very unique uh, feature here. Just diving in a little bit on this multi platform news graphic distribution, it's allowing journalists to add graphics to the stories, enter the content, preview it, position it, and launch and forget. This graphic will be played in the studio, will be sent, and will be changed the style and change the type of graphics and burn onto the video that will be published to social media, and all this will happen automatically. So the editorial decision of adding this graphic is happening once, and what happens behind is done always automatically. You don't have to worry about that. The third pillar of this uh, uh, studio uh, production approach of Dalet is the video I.O. How do you record video? How do you play video? And uh, this is done by, by Brio. And Brio is a high-density uh, I.O. solution. It's allowing to ingest or, and or play out many channels in a number of uh, resolutions from SD to UHD. And it's allowing us to do this in SDI and in IP. It's flexible, it's scalable, and it's cost effective. It's supporting the most common IP standards, including 2110 that it was released very recently. And it's natively integrated into Galaxy, so it's allowing us to do a much better control of all the ingest and play out workflows. And one small thing is a lot of people is using Brio today. We have over a thousand units, and only last year we were 1,200 uh, channels deployed. Small focus on the IP. So the IP transformation of Brio started two years ago. So over these last two years, we spent a lot of time, a lot of effort, in building the media platform technologies that will be supporting this IP transition, and all the media applications to expose this to the user. So everything started in, 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 uh, two years ago, and the latest um, release that we are doing now is the support of uh, 2110 and 20, 2022 standards on software. And this is very important because this is enabled simulcast. So you can have a single platform ingesting or playing out SDI and ingesting other channels or playing out other channels in IP. So for this transition period, we want to make life easier with, and, and will not um, force everybody to just change everything in one shot. So where can we see uh, Brio IP capabilities at NAB? We have two places, obviously in Dalet's booth, in, the, in several pods, and very important in the IP showcase. The IP showcase is um, a multi-vendor booth in Central Hall, where everybody working in 2110 is showing how everything works together. So we have a Dallas server there, playing, recording, and you can see how this works with other, with other vendors. So with this, thank you.